So wait today, welcome to this video lesson on chapter 18, Capitulum Duo De Wicasimum, and we're starting at section 2 today. Alright, Magister, date mihi tabulas puri. The teacher says, give me the tablets, boys. And, move to the next page. Uh, discipuli magistro tabla suas dant. The students give their tablets to the teacher. Is tabulam quisque puri in manu sumit. He takes the tablet of each boy, quisque puri, into his hands, in manus. Literasque eorum aspicit. And he looks at their letters. Quale sunt literae sexti? What sort are the letters of sextus? Pulcrae sunt, they are beautiful. Quale sunt literae marcia titi? What sort are the letters of Marcus and Titus? Literae eorum foidae sunt, ac vix legipo sunt. Their letters are ugly, foidae, and can scarcely be read. So vix is the word for scarcely, legi, be read. Uh, that's the passive infinitive. Magister suam quique discipulo tabulam reddit the teacher gives back reddit each boy's uh, tablet uh, to well it gives back his own tablet to each boy or gives back to each each uh, student his own tablet the suam goes with tabulam his own tablet and the quique discipulo there is the uh, each boy in the dative case Primum, sexto, first to Sextus, tum Tito, then to Titus, postremo Marco, last to Marcus. Atque pulcre et recte scribis sexte inquit. And he says, you write beautifully and correctly, Sextus. <coughs> facile est tales literas legere. It is easy, facile est, to read such letters. At wet literae vestrae tite et marce. But your letters, Titus and Marcus, lege non possunt, are not able to be read. Foide scribitis, pigri discipuli. You write in uh, an ugly way, or uglily, to be silly. Uh, so foide is the adverb form of foidus. <coughs> so you write uglily, in an ugly way, pigri discipuli, lazy students. Magister titum et marcum severe reprehendit. The teacher reprehends or criticizes Titus and Marcus severely. Titus says, Certe pulcere mai sunt literae sexti. Certainly, Sextus's letters are very beautiful. Pulcere mai. Superlative degree of the adjective there. Said, mei literae pulcriore sunt quam marci. But my letters are more beautiful, pulcriores comparative, than Marcus's, quam marquis. All right, then the teacher says, Arredite mihi tabulas tite et marque. Return the tablets to me, Titus and Marcus. Titus et Marcus tabulas suas redunt magistro. Titus and Marcus return their tablets to the teacher. Qui ea simul aspicit, who looks at them at once or together, simul. Magister literas titi comparat cum literis marci. Uh, the teacher compares Titus's letters, literas titi, with Marcus's letters, cum literis marci. And he says, et inquit, uh, literae vestrae aeque foidae sunt. Your letters are equally ugly. <laughs> tu tite, neque pulcrius, neque foidius scribis quam Marcus. You, Titus, write neither more beautifully nor more uglily, to be silly again, and in a more ugly way, than Marcus. All right? Then Titus says, At certe rectus scribo quam Marcus, but I certainly write more correctly, rectius, than Marcus. So rectius, just like pulcrius and foidius up above, is a comparative adverb, more correctly. The teacher says, Facile es rectius quam Marcus scribere. It's easy to write more correctly than Marcus. Nemo in impravius scribit quam ille. For no one writes more incorrectly, pravius, than he does. Quam ille. 
Non oportet se comparare cum discipulo pigerimo ad stultissimo. It's not fitting, non oportet, to compare oneself, uh, comparare se, with the laziest and most stupid student. Pigerimo and stultissimo. So notice pigerimo and stultissimo both are superlatives. Comparate, compare yourself, cum sexto, with sextus, qui rectissime et pulcherime scribit, who writes most correctly and most beautifully. Tum se vertens ad Marcum, then turning himself to Marcus, he says, Tu non modo foidissime sed etiam pravissime scribis, Marque. You write not only most uglily, or in the most ugly way, foidissime, but also most incorrectly, pravissime, Marcus. Nesquis latine scribere. You don't know how to write Latin. Puer pigermus es. You are a very lazy boy, or most lazy boy. Aque stultissimus, and most stupid, or stupidest. Jam Marcus multo soerius reprehenditur quam titus. Now Marcus is um, scolded, reprehended, much more severely than Titus. Marcus says, in parva voce, in a small voice, ad titum, to Titus, Magister dicit me prawe scribere. The teacher says that I am right incorrectly. Ergo literas meas legere potest. Therefore, he is able to read my letters. Now, this is Marcus being a smart aleck because the teacher had said he couldn't um, properly read them, right? At magister qui verba marci exaudit. But the teacher who hears Marcus's words says, Literas tuas turpes legere non possum. Your ugly letters I am unable to read. Sed numerare possum, but I can count. Quator literas de se kerno. I see, kerno, that four letters are missing. De se. Aspice, look. In vocabulo primo, <coughs> et in vocabulo postremo, Eadem litera ha de est. So in the first word and in the last word, vocablo postremo, the same letter, eadem litera, h is missing. So de esse is to be missing, to be lacking, and de est <coughs> is the he she it form here. Marcus then says, at simper dico homo abet. But I always say homo abit, which is sort of like <clears throat> umen being as or something. So he's saying homo without the H and he's saying hobbit without the H. <clears throat> the teacher then says, non simper idem digimus atque scribimus. We do not always say and write the same thing. In vocabulo secundo, uh, in vocabulo secundo, u de est. So in the second word, the u or the v is missing. <clears throat> in corto, m. In the fourth, the m. Quid significat haec vocabula turpia oclos et nasu? What do these ugly words oclos and nasu signify? What do they mean? Talia verba latina non sunt. Such words are not Latin. Nullum rectum est vocabulum praeter unum et. No word is correct except for one, et. Asque id vocabulum est frequentissimum et facilimum. And that word is the most frequent and the easiest. It's like that's the easiest word in the whole language. Quator menda, four errors, in quinque vocabulis, in five words. So this word mendum, which means error, that's where we get emend from. If you emend, you take out a letter. Remember, A or X is um, Latin for out of, so emend, take out of errors. Um, <clears throat> so four letters in five words. Nemo alter in tam breve sententia tot menda facet. No one else makes so many errors, tot menda, 
in so short a sentence, in tan breve sententia. Magister stilo suo adit literas quae desunt. The teacher with his stylus adds the letters which are missing. Ita menda corrigit. So he corrects the errors. Tumero nec solum inquit prawe et turpiter. But then he says not only um, incorrectly and uglily, turpiter. Turpiter is a synonym for foide. Um, means he, 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 his letter forms are really bad. Not just is he writing the wrong spelling of the words, but his letter forms are ugly. Seretiam nimis leviter scribis, but you also write too lightly, nimis leviter. So this means he's not pressing in hard enough. Has lineas tenues, vix kernere possum. I am scarcely able to um, see these thin lines. Nekese est te stilum gravius in keram premere. It's necessary for you to press your stylus more heavily into the wax. The scipuli in kera scribunt, the students are writing in wax, non tabulae eorum kera operiuntur, for their tablets are covered with wax. So kera, we can see in the margin, you can also see apis of the. Kera est materia molis, quam apes bestiolae industriae faciunt. Wax, kera, is material, a soft material, materia molis, which bees, industrious little animals, make. And Marcus says, Stilum graviter primo, I press the stylus heavily, sed kera nimis dura est, but the wax is too tough. Aliam tabulam da mihi, give me another tablet. Haik kera prope tam dura est quam ferum, this wax is nearly so tough or rough as iron. Ferum est materia dura, ex qua cultri gladii stili aleaeque reis multa efficiuntur. Iron is a hard material from which knives, uh, swords, styluses, and many other things are made. So many um, tools are made in the ancient world out of iron or maybe out of bronze too. <clears throat> So, Magister Marco, Eandem Tabulam Redit. The teacher returns the same tablet, Eandem Tabulam, to Marcus, and he says, Kera tua tam molis est quam sexti. Your wax is just as soft as sextus's. Et facle est eius <coughs> literas legere. And it's easy to read his letters. Sume Tabulam tuam. Pick up your tablet et scribe ha literam decies and write the letter H ten times decies. Now out in the margin we see a bunch of multiplicative adverbs. The ea sending or sometimes it's spelled en so i e n s instead. <clears throat> that's where you see the ending for or that's the kind of ending you see for multiplicative adverbs. Quotes means how many times. Totiase would mean so many times. And you can see the others. <clears throat> now, uh, the first one is semel, one time, bis, twice, ter, three times, quater, four times. But if you get to five times and above, you have the eas or ens ending. So quinquies, five times, sexies, six times, septies, seven times, and so on. And you can do this <clears throat> even much higher than these numbers. You can get something like um, Kintiase, a hundred times. All right, so let's end there. That's at the end of section two, and we'll pick up next time at the beginning of section three. Well, I tell them nice.